Can you tell us first who you are? Uh, my name's Ian McKinnon. And your profession? I'm an IT security professional. And you recently completed an MSc course at the Royal Holloway University of London. Yes, here. I did. Um, can you just briefly describe your career up to doing the course? Um, I've always worked in IT. Um, I started out as in systems operation uh, and moved into, uh, after a degree, first degree in computing, into systems integration, network design and implementation before I came to security. And what inspired you to actually take the course then? Um, I had an opportunity uh, to take time out from work uh, and do the course over a year. Um, I was working in security and I really wanted to consolidate on uh, the knowledge that I had uh, in, order, in order to uh, try and push myself. Can you just briefly describe the elements of the course, the, uh, what it is you actually studied? The course uh, covered uh, many different modules uh, from uh, security management, through cryptography, computer law, uh, compu computer standards and, and security protocols. Okay, and you came out with what qualification? Uh, a Masters in Information Security. Excellent. So, uh, did you actually enjoy it? I had a fantastic time. Um, it was uh, quite indulgent, uh, being able to focus on myself and learning for a, a full year, uh, but it was an excellent, excellent opportunity uh, to consolidate on the knowledge that I had. So taking a year out was well worth it? Yes. Uh, had, how has it helped you move on in your career? What have the benefits been for you? Um, clearly, uh, in terms of employers, um, the qualifications I have, including the Masters, uh, are attractive, so I am uh, very employable from that perspective. Um, it's also given me confidence in um, uh, design meetings uh, and the knowledge that I need in order to, to get to the nub of a problem or a security issue. Do you think it would you recommend other people do this sort of course if they've got to, already got degrees? Absolutely um, it's certainly uh, an excellent grounding um, in IT security for uh, people who've maybe just graduated uh, and equally it's a very good opportunity to consolidate knowledge or transfer your skills to a security um, arena uh, for those people who are already in the industry. Absolutely. So you've got the actual piece of paper that says that you've actually got it. Um, what difference has it made to your life overall? Um, I think uh, in, in many ways uh, it was an opportunity which I took um, and in business terms uh, it hasn't changed dramatically the type of jobs that uh, are available to me um, but it has given me more confidence in the workplace uh, in order to um, you know stand out and, and get my point across. What is it that you actually do now? Can you just briefly describe your work now? I provide uh, IT security advice uh, within uh, public sector clients so I'm a consultant uh, working for Logica um, and uh, predominantly um, that involves the accreditation process which is formal risk assessment and risk treatment of government systems. So it's an important job in terms of protection, national uh, protection? Ab absolutely, it's a critical part of uh, the overall risk management for uh, systems uh, that are handling uh, potentially very sensitive assets. Yes. Uh, would you say it's national or, or more local or individual? Uh, all, of the, all of the work that I do is uh, with um, central government or crown services um, and so it's, it's predominantly at a, at a national, national level. Okay, thank you. And would you uh, say that this, this sort of field is now expanding from pure IT, a technical base, to, to wider skills? Absolutely. Um, the discipline of IT security, of information assurance, is expanding, it is developing and whereas uh, in the early days you needed uh, an extremely focused technical understanding um, as it's expanded uh, a whole range of skills now are necessary in order to provide the kind of protections that are necessary. Skills such as communication? Certainly uh, you know communication skills, policy, policy skills, uh, personnel issues um, they all are part of the overall security posture that an organisation needs to take. Well that's really interesting, thank you very much.